Days after Hamas launched its large-scale surprise assault on Israel, horrifying details are still emerging. In Kfar Aza, a kibbutz in southern Israel, the Israel Defense Forces at Div told CNN that militants carried out a massacre in which women, children, toddlers and elderly were brutally butchered in an ISIS way of action. Less than 20 kilometers 12 miles away, the farming community Berai was among the worst hit, with more than 100 bodies recovered and eyewitnesses describing assailants going door to door, breaking into homes and executing civilians. In retaliation for the atrocities, Israeli jets have been pounding Gaza, the densely inhabited coastal strip that Hamas controls, with hundreds of airstrikes, reducing homes and neighborhoods to rubble and trapping residents, with many cut off from food and electricity. The IDF has also bolstered troops and tanks along the border as speculation of a possible Israeli ground incursion into Gaza grows. An IDF spokesperson said Wednesday that it has massed 300,000 reservists near the border. Israel's defense minister, Yav Gallant, said he has released all restraints for the IDF in their fight against Hamas, saying the response will permanently change Gaza. That has deepened fears that Palestinian civilian casualties will continue to rise in the days ahead as Israel responds to the worst attack on its territory in decades. Dozens of Israeli fighter jets struck more than 70 targets in the Deraj Atufa area of Gaza Wednesday, where the IDF claimed a large number of terror attacks against Israel directed.